figure in the street. What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Deep CP and I am back with another video. Now we just got done reacting to another video of Chills, but this one is a different topic. This one is called 11 Paranormal Events Caught on Dash Cam. So once again we are going to be reacting to ghost videos. The last one there was a couple of them that I thought could be convincing, but there were some that the ghosts and Ghostbusters look more realistic than some of those. So. Again, as I stated in the last video, I kind of am open to the idea that there could be spirits on Earth. So, let's see if these guys can prove 100% that there are ghosts. I want to know. Are there ghosts? If you believe in ghosts, let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious. And if you have any ghost stories, let me know in the comments down below. That would be really cool to hear. But without further ado, let's get into it. There's always a road to get you wherever you want to go, but as these paranormal dash cam videos show, you never know what you will encounter along the way. Number 11, a YouTuber and I hate driving at night. A I absolutely hate driving at night. Town of UT when they unexpectedly zoom past a pedestrian clad in ancient looking robes. Watch this part, and if you happen to share their language, please translate what's being shouted at the person here. I'm guessing that they probably said watch where you're going or something along those lines. Whatever it is that they said, it must have really upset the other person. Wait a minute, how do we even know 100% that was a ghost. That could have just been some crazy cosplayer. How do we know that was a ghost? Come on. Come on. And for about another minute, this happens. <laughs> they come across the same person as before. Yet yeah, this is impossible because there is no way that the person could have been traveling on foot fast. No. And what they were doing on a bike. Suddenly it dawns on them that they were most likely taunting a spirit. That could have been on editing. That could have been edited too. This video looks very authentic and I'm inclined to believe it is real. They could have clipped it. No added music or sound effects. No, that's true. But they could have clipped the footage and edited it to where it looked like he was in front of them or she or whatever. Things are common in the area. Or better yet, tell me if you've ever seen something like this yourself. Number 10. This car is making its way down the BKE Expressway in Singapore when it manages to catch the split-second image of what could be a paranormal hitchhiker searching for its next ride. The ghostly presence looks too tall to be a normal human being, and its limbs look too long as well. Though I guess they could have been passing by a sign really fast, too. ...from being captured at a high rate of speed. Some people even say it looks like they are floating. I want to hear your opinion. I mean, so let me know if you agree. Number nine. I think that was a. I think that was a traffic Russia sign. Has up to ten accidents a year. You get glares on glass, you know. No survivors. A woman is driving late at night when something in the road makes her pause. Then, as her dash cam shows, she finds a fleeting visitor. <laughs> They're just standing in the middle of the snow? Paranormal investigators would later review this video and claim that this is the spirit of a bride who lost her life on this road in the 80s. I'm not sure how they came to this conclusion. Let me what? know if the woman appears to be wearing Russian wedding attire or not. Most importantly, there is no reason for a complete stranger to dart in front of the car and then disappear like that. Number 8. A YouTuber named Swinetown Swine puts on his helmet cam and starts making a random video while cruising around That last town. one I think was just staged. As he is busy recording his thoughts, he briefly notices a red car in the distance going around the bend. Swinetown Swine is traveling and quickly catches up to where the red car just was. 
But when he gets there, he's surprised at what he finds. Whoa. If you're gonna stop doing that toy. Sort of what are you doing? What was this car doing? Where's it gone? Um, okay. What the f The red car, which was clearly present moments ago, is no longer anywhere to be found on the road. Swinetown Swine is convinced that this was a phantom car, but I'm not sure. Well, I think it's definitely a possibility. I just wish we could have seen once this again to editing right tricks, man. Part, I feel like the red car might have been down a little more and just out of sight, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you think about this one. It is possible that that was a phantom car, but there's editing techniques. They could have cut the footage right at that sign when he got there and had the car off camera somewhere. So I had to try harder to convince me. This Russian dash cam video starts with a car full of friends gawking at a figure dressed in all black who looks very out of place standing all alone in the quiet city street so late at night. Something feels off about this stranger, so they decide to double back and take a second look out of curiosity. It looked this like a time stop they get sign. a much better view at the shadowy apparition, and they all yell in surprise. <laughs> okay, no, I see the person now. <laughs> the cloaked figure has stepped into the street and now faces them, almost as if expecting their return. The camera's quality that could have been staged. not very good, but I can't make Guy out in a costume just standing there of this part of the video. Face, which makes you wonder if they even have one to begin with. It's almost as if they were a shadow person. Then again, these friends kind of sound like they were possibly making a big deal out of nothing. With that said, something about the figure's yeah. silent, menacing posture, and the way it stands in place makes me think this could be a spirit after all. Number six... This dash cam video originates from somewhere in Russia. A large truck swerves out of the way of something invisible, narrowly missing oncoming traffic in the process. Then a pedestrian suddenly appears from behind the truck and calmly walks away like nothing happened. The uploader of this video is sure that this is a ghost, and assuming this video is not CGI, I would have to agree. Slow the video down and you can clearly see how nothing is in the truck's path at first. Okay. And the person instantly appears only after the truck has passed. It's almost as if the truck has passed straight through them. Number five. Route 666 oh. in Ohio is well known for all sorts of paranormal sightings. You the shouldn't name a road after that, man! Entities. With this in mind, a YouTuber named The Planet Earth decides to take a long drive down Route 666 at night and records everything with his dash cam. The entire 17-minute video is rife with fear and suspense as this YouTuber thinks he... Dude, I will tell you, I work in retail. I work in a grocery store. We won't even price our stuff at $6.66 because we know that there is literally people that will take stuff from the other part of the store and move it just because it's priced that. That is not just superstition. There's something to that. If you are commissioning roads or whatever in your city, you should never, ever, ever, ever use that. Go to the next number. Seriously. It's bad luck. See something multiple times and bravely stops the car to investigate. One part of the video is particularly concerning. Keep your eyes on the left side and tell me if you see anything weird in the darkness. I don't see anything. I'm not sure if this is just a reflection of a road sign or something, but there appears to be two glowing eyes on the left side. That of was the just road. a reflection. If these are reflective markers, then I'm not sure why someone would bother putting two of them in the middle of nowhere like that. With all of the rumors surrounding Route 666, I wouldn't be surprised if this red pair of eyes belonged to something supernatural. Could be, but I think that's a road down. sign. Number four, a person is driving down a four-lane highway at night when they spy a figure wrapped in all white standing on the side of the road. As they get closer, they realize the strange person is not at all what they first appeared to be. It 
clearly this looks like a sheep. What originally looked like a person waving hello or hitchhiking suddenly loses form and floats upwards towards the car as it speeds by, revealing nothing underneath. I'm not sure if I believe this video is real because a ghost under a sheet is such a classic stereotype. Yeah, and it kind of looks almost a little bit CGI. Again, maybe this like really it doesn't look fully there. Hitchhiker. Using cloth to show the outline of its true form. As I just happened to notice while I was editing this video, apparently there's not actually 11 videos when you watch it. It goes straight from number four all the way to one. So I don't know where video three and two are, but uh, yeah, I just happened to notice that and wanted to point that out. But anyway, get back to it. Number one, Myrtle Sarosa is a popular model and actress from the Philippines who witnessed something unexplainable while on tour in eastern Samar. She and her crew are now That looked like somebody. That actually looked like... When they spot this small phantom-like figure in the street. <laughs> in Myrtle's words, the white blog caught by the dash cam does not match what they saw in person. No. She says what they saw looked more like a child who was around 10 years old with a pale face and a bluish white shirt and wanted to double back and save the helpless child but their tour guide said that this road is famous for child ghost sightings and that it was best to get out of there quickly i guess this could all be just a publicity stunt but since eastern samar once had a bad typhoon that claimed the lives of many children i think that she is probably telling the truth Oh my god, why did I watch this before I'm going to bed? Okay, so my thoughts, honestly. There are some of those that were pretty convincing. Anything can happen. I mean, it's terif- That's what makes it terrifying to me. And as I said in my previous video, I don't think that ghosts are human spirits. I think they connect somewhere else. Well, anyway, guys, that's it for today. If you got chills like I did, let me know in the comments down below. If you got any cool ghost stories, I want to hear them. Please be sure to surf into that subscribe button, waving for notifications, and stay tuned for more buried treasure. Go in the description down below and check out the original video for yourself. Deep CP out. Happy spooky season. Catch you on the coast side. Woo!